say good morning, but it is simply not the morning. <laughs> it is 4 p.m. Uh, 4.30 to be, 4.40? 438 to be exact. I'm starting this night routine. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Brooke and we're doing all the things that I normally do tonight. It's kind of like a vlog, but also at the same time, just like literally my night routine. I have recently kind of changed up my schedule, if that's what we want to call it. I work for myself, but I changed up my routine in terms of like workout times and stuff. I have started working out at night, not every day, but the days that I can. So this way I'm waking up in the morning, it's still early, still getting work done and literally just having like a totally productive day. And then um, at 7.30 or 6.30, I'll go and take a workout class and it's a really good way to end my night. I kind of prefer like really early or later at night because whenever I work out in the middle of the day, it kind of throws off my day, if that makes sense. Like if I work out at, I feel like if I'm working out at noon, then I'm more likely to sleep in because I'll just like lay in bed and stuff and wait around until I go take my workout class. I don't know, so whatever. But yeah, night routine, it starts now. I've been out there in my living room doing a bunch of work today. I put on makeup, so I filmed a video, I edited the video. I like to do everything very streamlined. If you guys know me, you know if I start a task, I like to complete the task. Did a lot of email stuff. I actually just finished up a phone call with a financial advisor, potentially, the company that my grandma uses. So she was like, I recommend them. So that was like a 30 minute phone call. And then I just was sorting out some financy stuff. I'm definitely trying to be more conscious about my finances this year. I honestly have been doing like a really, really good job. I'm actually pretty proud of myself of um, not spending money frivolously and stuff like that. I filmed my videos and then I got into comfy clothes. I put on my talentless set to edit and do all of my computer things. Did some stuff for gals on the go. Just getting everything sorted out. I feel like Monday are actually a really good day for me because I'm like catching up on everything and like super motivated just to do it all. So on the agenda for the rest of the night I'm just gonna finish up a few more things because I'm not like entirely done. I also just posted a video so I love to respond to comments and be really active there. Also just posted an Instagram photo like to respond to comments be active there. Not that it takes up like too much time. I, responding to comments is my favorite part about everything that I do so I think that's it for now. I'm gonna put on some of this Burt's Bees medicated chapstick and um, yeah. It's like five o'clock now and my workout class, like I said, isn't until 7.30, so I'm gonna eat a snack, but nothing too heavy because I don't like to have anything too heavy. I'll eat my like big dinner after, but this is just cut up cherry tomatoes and like mini cucumbers and I put salt and a little bit of olive oil and it's so yummy. It's like a little salad. I'm just gonna sit and uh, sit on my computer. Good. I just finished up some more computer stuff, like I said. I feel like I always say like, oh, I'm doing computer stuff. But, like I really, I, I am, I don't know what else to say. And it's just like random stuff will come in. I'll be sitting on the computer and an email comes in. I'm like, oh damn, I should like attend to this right now. And uh, I'm really bad with that. Like I feel like I get an email and I'm like, ah, oh, gotta do it right away. About to change though. I'm gonna take off this sweatshirt. I'm literally changing from one sweatshirt into another because I'm wearing my zip up because this is my sports bra that I'm gonna spin in. It's the Energy Long Line from Little Lemon. I really like it for spin, it's great um, because it goes down a little bit longer. And then I'm just wearing this zip up sweatshirt. This is from my friend Kenzie's March. And then I'm throwing on these Lululemon leggings. Let's put them on. Nice, <laughs> cool. So now I'm reapplying my deodorant. I already put it on this morning, but I'm definitely going to put on more. I wanted to thank Native for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So excited to be working with them. This is a company that I truly like stand by. You guys probably know, cause I feel like a lot of people talk about it now, but it used to not be so talked about. Many conventional deodorants contain aluminum. To literally, to make it work, it forms a plug in your sweat glands to keep you from sweating. It's definitely important to take care of yourself and use the best ingredients. That's why I use Native. Um, right now I'm using the lavender and rose scent. I was about to say flavor. I actually recently got the Native Starter Pack. I've used Native like previous to this. I was actually watching some of my old videos today and I'm like using Native in it, so this is something I've used for a while. But this is the Native's Build Your Own Deodorant Pack and it basically comes with three types that you can pick out. You can choose three of your favorites. I got Lavender and Rose, Coconut and Vanilla, and Charcoal. The Coconut and Vanilla is like my favorite forever, but I recently switched, recently switched to the Lavender and Rose and it's really, really good. I really like Native for the scent for obviously the ingredients. The ingredients are super clean. You can read everything in it, which I really appreciate because you actually know what's going into your body because obviously what you put like on as deodorant is absorbing into your body, which a lot of people I feel like don't think about. 
I used to not think about it and now I'm like, uh, how did I not know this? Also, like, I'm literally putting this on for spin class. This stuff works. I know when I say, like, a more natural, like, better for you deodorant, I know what everybody's thinking because I used to think that too and be like, this, this stuff, like, legit isn't gonna work and it does. And this pack from Native, the build your own pack, is usually $30, but you guys can actually get 20% off today when you use my code BROOK20 at checkout and click the link down below just to make it easy for you. Use the code BROOK20. Just follow the link and start feeling fresh with Native. Let's put some on. <laughs> Awkward putting on deodorant on camera, is that like weird? A lot of the things I do on this channel are weird though. Let's face the facts here. I think I'm gonna take off my makeup too before I spin. It definitely makes me feel better to like wear makeup and even like I'm not putting it on for class. I just like have it on from the day, but I feel like my skin is gonna thank me. Throw on some socks. I think I'm gonna have one more snack before I go because I didn't really eat a lunch today. So now I feel like I'm off. This is my workout bag I just use from Outdoor Voices. I really like it. So basically, we have my wallet. I put my water bottle in here. I just have my portable charger just from, like I think I was running errands one day or something, I threw it in there. Chapstick, I've been back on the Bird's Bees gang. And my keys. Yeah, that's basically it. And then my water goes in there. I don't bring too much because it's literally just the walk from my car into the studio. But it's nice having it in like this tote bag because I just like throw it around and stuff. These are my house slippers, I'm not gonna wear them. I'm gonna put on, I think, sneakers back here. Yeah, these are my Hoka, I think I'm pronouncing it right now, shoes. If you guys are a regular on this channel, you know, I use my Hydro Flask with the straw lid, the pink straw lid, so it's double pink from Amazon. Mm. Really, really like it, and I just put some more ice in there. I've probably already drank like, probably only one of these today. It depends, sometimes I'm like having a heavy water day, but I need to catch up. And then for my snack, like I said, I'm gonna have another snack. I'm just having one of these Chomps turkey jerky sticks, nothing new. Um, I was just a little hungry and I don't wanna have anything too heavy because spinning on a, uh, like a full stomach is not it, but I'll eat when I come back. Take off my makeup because I don't really wanna sweat at all. Also, they give you a towel at Cycle, which is so nice. Before this, I have never worked out somewhere where they give you a towel and apparently like, they do that I feel like at a lot of fitness studios, maybe not the ones that I've been to because I, I don't know, I've never had that before, but it's really nice. Anyways, but when I wear makeup, I like wipe my face and it goes all over the towel and it's just like so pointless. So we're gonna cleanse. I just used some Bioderma on just like a cotton round um, to take off my eye makeup because I have some waterproof mascara on right now that I'm gonna take off. This isn't like my full like cleanse. I'm gonna do like my nighttime cleanse and stuff in the shower later and I'll show you guys all of my shower products because I feel like I haven't showed those in a while but this is just like to get off most of this stuff. Yeah, I feel like it does a pretty decent job. And then I'm using a slip hair tie to tie my hair up for class. I really like these hair ties because, well, there's a few reasons. You know when you get those hair ties that like perfectly go around your hair a, a perfect number of times and you don't have to, uh, it's hard for me to find the words, but basically it wraps around my hair perfectly four times with like the thickness of my hair. And it doesn't tug at my hair because it's lined with like their uh, nicer material so it doesn't tug at my hair because I find that when I put my hair in high ponytails and make it really tight, sometimes I'm like r ripping my hair to get it down, you know? But this does a pretty decent job, so good with that. Uh, we have our water, everything. I'm leaving now and I'm texting with my grandma and she accidentally just sent me a two minute long voice memo and it's literally like... I think it's always better. <laughs> She's so cute. It's just her and her boyfriend having a conversation. Okay, we're headed out now. Well, since I'm showing you guys a night of my life, this is the parking lot. This is the ticket that I will get validated um, after I buy something from Whole Foods. So, I mean, it's not the worst deal. At least I don't have to pay for parking. I like get something out of it, but we're gonna walk in now. All right, this is Beacon Hill, Boston. There's an ambulance coming, so I'm just gonna chill for a sec. I'm always cutting it super close. messed up and scheduled a late workout class when the bachelor's on so now I'm behind but it's okay I'll make dinner while I watch I got Mariah's um, family's YouTube TV so that's what I'm watching it on because um, I don't have cable so shout out to the Horton family I really appreciate you guys let's go 
For dinner, I'm using some squash, Brussels sprouts, and spinach. Cooking those up, I pre-air fried the squash and the Brussels sprouts. And then I'm using some eggs and kind of serving this in like a bowl style. I also added some avocado and then salt and pepper. Um, this is a really like typical dinner for me, just kind of mixing all the stuff I have in my fridge. Might seem random, but I'm gonna put some soy sauce on it too. Okay, I'm missing Dutch. I literally have to watch, but. I'm just going in and closing my blinds now for the day. Goodbye, city. <laughs> I don't have like blackout curtains or anything, but these blinds actually do a pretty decent job. But honestly, the sun rises so late now anyways, I'm usually up. Putting my laptop here for later. I do go on my laptop in bed, I know that's bad. Got my pajamas picked out. So I feel like I haven't done a, like what I use in the shower in a while. And honestly, it changes all the time. You guys can probably see here, I have a, a good bit of products laid out because I'm always trying new stuff. Like I'm in between multiple hair products right now, trying to figure out what's best, but I can give you like a overview. I've been using this shampoo, which I'm almost out of. This is from, you guys told me how to pronounce it correctly, Briogeo. I love it, it looks like a juice bottle, it smells delicious, and I think it keeps my hair super shiny. Then um, for a mask situation or like a conditioner, I like to do a thicker conditioner, but I usually only do the ends. I really like this one, the Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture one, also from the same brand, Briogeo. Or I've recently been trying this one from Living Proof that they sent me, it's the Perfect Day Hair. And <laughs> I really like this one from Garnier. They all smell amazing. Um, I honestly just switch it up. I don't really have any particular rhyme or reason. And then I really like this body wash. This is from Mario Badescu. It's the AHA Botanical Body Soap, but I also really like this one from Trader Joe's. Just the refresh one. And then for my face, I've been switching up my facial wash. I've been using this one from Holy Frog. It's the Balmy Wash, and it's supposed to be like pretty moisturizing, which is good because my skin has been really dry. Uh, good for restoring. I haven't really noticed any crazy differences with this, but it's pretty good. I have some other body washes and stuff I'll like switch off between. Um, my razor is my Billy razor. That's what I've been using recently and I really, really like it. The blade refills are super affordable, which I really enjoy. I hate spending so much money on razors and it has this like little bar thing actually is built in like soap. So that's really cool. This is my face washer, like little brushy thing. It's vibrating right now. It's from Foreo. It's battery operated and I use that to like blend in my, uh, blend in, nope. <laughs> I use it with my face wash and it's really good. And then this is actually my loofah, you guys. I really like it. Um, I just, I mean, I'll use my hands too, obviously, but I got this from like an online website. I think it was from an Instagram ad forever ago. And I just go ahead and I like grab it like this and I put my soap on it and then I like rub my body with it. And it's like a loofah, except I think it's better for in terms of like bacteria and stuff because it's silicone and loofahs, um, since they're like material, they hold a lot of bacteria and stuff. And I don't, I don't think this does as much, but I could be very wrong. And rough right now. Um, I'm resisting the urge to eat dessert because I don't need it. It's late at night at this point. I don't need it. And then I can show you guys like my skincare and everything after. But, you know, I shower with the lights off and this guy on. It's like a nice peaceful vibe. And then I always have to have some sort of like audio going. I think I finished Girls Gotta Eat this week. Oh no, I have a little bit left. So I'll probably listen to that or I just go under podcasts because I subscribe to all my favorite podcasts. I also do have a shower playlist because I'm a weirdo like that. That's amazing. My toothbrush, my electric toothbrush, and my Colgate Optic White. I'm like super clueless when it comes to hair stuff. I actually really wanna try the um, the curly girl method. So if you guys know anything about that or if you've ever tried it, let me know. I know that I actually have to like commit to it. So I'm trying to like find a timeline that I can do that. Maybe that I don't have anything huge going on because I know in the beginning it's kind of hard to like get your hair on track, I guess, because you're not supposed to use heat for a while. So I don't know. I have to pick a time period that that like I can try it. Cause I actually really do like my naturally curly hair. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. And I just spray a bunch of it into my hand. I use this as like an overnight treatment basically. It helps a lot with frizz and just with like overall shape, I feel like of my 
curls. It keeps them like curly, but also like tame. And I basically just like run that through. This is really good though, because I usually end up using heat on my hair later on. So like, I'm not gonna use heat right now or blow dry or whatever, because I'm just gonna like go to bed. I mean, my hair will probably dry a little bit before bed. I don't like going to bed with it, like sobbing wet, sobbing. Sopping wet, I know I always mix up those words. I don't like going, yeah, so I would prefer not to go to bed with it like super, super wet. However, it will dry a little bit before I go to bed. I have some stuff to do. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, now we can go into my bedroom. I'm gonna be using my Brazilian bum bum cream all over my body, but I'm just not gonna film me putting it on because I just feel like that's not necessary. For my nighttime skincare, um, I put on most of my products, I would say, at night. I switch them up all the time, though. I really just focus right now because my skin is super dry on moisturizing stuff. And I have, like, some acne and stuff like that. But honestly, when I start putting acne stuff on it, it my skin just gets, like, super, super dry. So I'm just going to focus on moisturizing. And with that, I use an eye cream. This is... Glossier bubble wrap. I also really like the Kiehl's avocado one. I keep that in my shower in the bathroom I mean <laughs> not in the shower and then I use the ordinary hyaluronic acid That's what I'm using right now to pump like even more moisture into my skin. It's really really good um, Basically, this is just a serum that's made for moisturizing and like boosting your skin and then I put on a thick cream on top so a pretty a pretty moisturizing routine I try, I, I'm trying also, this is inspired by my friend Michelle Reed. She said that she's trying to cut back on how many products she uses. And I'm trying that too actually because I definitely feel that my skin is clearer when I'm, I'm not doing like an 80 step skincare routine. Like it's just not necessary. And I feel like my skin actually prefers when I just do lighter stuff or like fewer steps, you know? I think eye cream is really important though. My skin has just been like really like textury dry. So that's why I feel like hyaluronic acid plus the uh, Thick moisturizer combo is kind of helping with that, but I don't know my skin definitely goes through cycles and Then this isn't an every night thing. I just do it a few times a week But I'm gonna put on my babe lash eyelash serum and this really helps with maintaining the length of my eyelashes I literally just said I'm not gonna use acne stuff, but you know what I'm staring at my skin and I don't like it to look this way. So we're gonna use the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. I just dip a Q-tip in and I dab this on my like actual active acne and I just see that I have a few brewing. So I'm just gonna put it on those. But anything that's like on its way healing up, I don't put it on it. It's just like the ones that are kind of there and like under the surface. I wasn't gonna put on any pimple cream, but then I was like, you know what, why not? And now here I am, full beat. You know the deal. I try to wean myself off of them, but I'm back on them. I take two, sometimes one, but I'm feeling kind of like restless right now. So I'm going to take two. Ollie's Sleep Gummies, they taste really good and they just have melatonin and some other stuff in them to help you. <laughs> Let's a look. I always have a full water bottle next to my bed. Um, honestly, I wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning like so thirsty honestly like always so just put some ice in there i'm gonna journal a little bit get my thoughts out i don't have any rules like no phone no computer before bed i feel like it would definitely be beneficial for managing like my stress levels and stuff but i i just put on the blue light glasses and i'm like whatever i guess i can do it and it's 11 10 right now i'm gonna aim 11 11 make a wish i aim to be like sleeping by midnight some nights it's earlier, it really depends on the day. This was like a later day because I had like bachelor and everything, which was honestly a horrible episode, but whatever. Okay, I did my journaling. I literally just do stream of consciousness, just like I try to fill up a page, but I just literally, I put the date at the top and I just write. But yeah, look, my hair's already drying. It kind of gets curly, but I like it. Um, I'm gonna go to bed, it is a little before midnight, it's 11.51. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and let me know if you wanna see other like routines and stuff like that. Um, I mean, this is as real as it gets. Like, I don't know what else to say. You guys, and I will talk to you all super soon. Bye.